Hi, my name is Rex Proctor, and in this screencast, we're going to show you how to quickly get started with angles. Let's take a look at the angles interface. When you launch angles for the first time, you're presented with a window. Angles is a single windowed application, meaning you can push it out to full screen. All of your files are managed inside of this window in what we call super tabs. You can have as many super tabs open as you like, depending on the context or the project that you're working on. It's a very, very flexible interface. Along the top, we obviously have our main toolbar. The next is this ribbon, is the super tabs, where you'll click on the various super tabs that you've set up. And then on the left-hand side is your vault manager. All files are managed inside of angles. So you don't use Finder to manage the file system at all. Everything is interfaced in your vault manager on the left-hand side. You can set up vaults, similar to folders, across USB devices depending on how you want to share those files or organize them. On the right hand side you have the inspector and depending on the object that you have selected the inspector is going to give you attributes that you can change such as the name, a color, or other. The first thing you want to choose inside of the super tab is your layout and what we call panes. So you're going to break up the super tab into different panes where you're going to open up those files. So let's do a three paned interface. When you click on that you're presented with this very unique and fluid interface here. So I'm going to create a new timeline in the bottom pane. So I click on timeline. I'm going to create a new movie area over here. We call this a collection. And this is where we're going to drag and drop movies that we have downloaded or sourced elsewhere. So let's do that. I'm going to drag and drop. I've got four different angles for my first movie here. You can drag and drop those all selected at once and drop them straight into the interface. So here's four different angles. And then I'm going to start to create a markup. Now you're noticing in the vault that these new files are being created. As you're creating them, you do want to name them and you do that in the inspector. So this is my markup window. It's going to allow me to annotate things in the timeline. You're going to reuse this markup window. So give it a nice generic name. I'm going to name my movie collection here with my four different angles and I'm just going to call this angles and then I'll name the timeline that I'm going to set up here and start annotating and I'll just call it timeline. I'm going to link my timeline to this bit of video that I have here, this movie collection and now we're all linked up. We can drag from the playhead back and forth and you can see those movies are actually linked and you can move around in them. A couple things I want to note, um, if you're using multiple angles, one, two, three, and four allow you to flick between the angles. If you want to zoom, you hover the mouse over the area you want to zoom and scroll up and down. If you want to pan, hold shift and click and drag. So pretty simple. Movie controls are found in your left and right arrow keys. The up arrow, if pressed multiple times, allows you to accelerate. You play around with those. Really, really good, good controls for uh, transporting, as we say, the video. And spacebar allows you to play and pause. Now let's take a look at our markup window, because this is where you're going to be doing a lot of work and uh, how you're creating the clips that you're going to use for statistical and presentation purposes. So let's create a few buttons. Drag in a button. Drag in a couple different shapes. Now there's two types of buttons that you're going to need to be concerned with. One is a clip and the other is a qualifier. Clips mark time. Qualifiers allow you to add description to those clips, which in turn lets you filter for the clips that you're looking for. So let's call this offense. Do something really simple here. Set the color for that. This is the color that's going to uh, actually paint in your timeline and we'll call this one defense. I'm just going to show you these because um, they allow me to demonstrate some of the features that you can do with buttons. Um, for this button I'm going to use a qualifier and we'll call it great. So when I see something great I want to annotate or add that description to that clip I'm going to press the great button. 
and we'll make that white so it will stand out. Now I'm going to link these because offense and defense are exclusive things. I'm never going to be marking offense and marking defense at the same time. So as a convenience, I'm going to add an action. I click on the plus and the first action is a down up action, meaning when I push the button down, the target button, the up, is going to be pushed up. So click and drag from the symbol and drop it onto the button that is the target for the action. The second action I'm going to add is a up-down action. So when offense is pushed up, it's going to push defense down. Pretty simple back and forth, you know, mutually exclusive type of an arrangement here. So let's start marking up our video. I jump into markup mode and I press the offense button and I see something, oh that's great, I tick the great and you can see in the clip that it's marked a little white dot in there and that's my qualifier and that's what I can use to filter with. It's kind of a hook inside the clip. So I'll click on offense again and you can see I'm just toggling back and forth because of that button action. Right now there's seven different button actions that you can play with. When I'm done if I want to stop all the buttons, I press the tab key and that pushes all the active buttons up. So here I've created two clips in offense and two clips in defense. Pretty simple. I don't want to go too much further than that, um, otherwise it will get rather boring. But the next thing in my process is probably going to be creating a presentation. I want to take those clips and I want to put together uh, a presentation that I can teach from. So I'm going to split this pane at the bottom to the right and start working on a composer. So I'm going to say yes, I like that. I want to take this clip so I hold option and I click and drag that into my composition. I'm going to drag a defensive clip just for demonstration purposes and within this I can then trim and I can make this exactly what I want that clip duration to be. There's keyboard shortcuts, hold shift and then left and right allow me to edit the start and end time very conveniently and accurately or I can hold shift and click and drag from either the leading edge of the clip or trailing or the end of the clip and drag those you have full access to the actual raw movie so whenever you're editing you can just select it and then press play and it will go back right to where it is and play exactly what is going to be presented now if for this clip I want to show the broadcast, I'm going to press number one with that clip selected, hold down option and pull to lock that clip in. So now when that clip is played, that's the angle that we're going to see. Then when it jumps to the next clip, it shows all four in this case. So really great angle control when putting your presentation together. Now the next thing I would be doing is I want to create some fancy titles. So we have some integration with Keynote and other graphical packages. So let's say I want this. This is my nice presentation. I'll add something with some cool thing and say, uh, call it highlights. Spell it right. And now right from the keynote presentation, I can drag and drop straight into my presentation and have a beautiful title slide. You can use Photoshop and other graphical applications doing the exact same thing. Just make sure you set your aspect ratio to 16 by 9 so it matches your video. You can also drag in uh, movie files that you create in animation packages such as Motion, Piero, Coach Paint, and the like. Really great workflow. When you're done, if you're not going to be presenting um, from angles itself, and when you're done with your composer, you can click and on the export and export that as a single movie file. Then you can distribute that, uh, whatever sharing you want, you know, maybe YouTube or wherever you're going to push that video out to your audience. On behalf of everyone at Fulcrum, we thank you very much for watching the screencast. If you have any questions, please email us at support at fulcrumtech.com. Thank you very much.